Demo 9.6 WM Steps In this demo, we will complete the warehouse management activities to place the goods procured earlier into storage bins. Recall from previous demos that there are two goods receipts that place t-shirts in the trading goods storage location. One as a result of a stock transfer from Miami to San Diego and one as a result of purchase from Spy Gear. We will complete the WM steps for both cases. In the Create Transfer Order menu, select Transaction LB11 for material. The system displays the Display Transfer Requirements, List for Material screen. Enter the appropriate data for the warehouse number, 100, Material, T-shirt, and Plant San Diego fields. Then click the Enter icon. The system displays transfer requirements that match the search criteria. In our case, there are two transfer requirements, one as a result of the stock transfer from Miami to San Diego and one as a result of the purchase from Spy Gear. Select both transfer requirements and click the TO in foreground button. Note the TR numbers 12 and 13. The system displays the first transfer requirement, number 12. Enter the appropriate data for the DEST target, quantity 1000, storage type 001, storage section 001, the destination bin STBN 1000 fields. Next, click the Save icon to create the transfer order. The system creates a transfer order for the transfer requirement and displays the transfer order number 13 in the bottom left corner. Note this number. In addition, the system displays the second transfer requirement, number 13. Click the Enter icon to continue. Enter the target quantity 1000, storage type 001, storage section 001, and destination bin. STBN 1000. Next, click the Save icon to create the transfer order. The system creates a transfer order for the second transfer requirement and displays the transfer order number 14 in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number and then click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Caution! Do not confuse the transfer requirement numbers 12 and 13 with the transfer order numbers 13 and 14. Next, we will confirm the transfer orders. In the single document menu, select Transaction LT12 in one step. Enter the first transfer order number 13 and the warehouse number 100. Next, click the Enter icon to continue. The system displays the data for the selected transfer order. Verify the quantity, 1000, and destination bin, STBN 1000, and then click the Save icon to confirm the transfer order. The system displays a message stating that the TO has been confirmed. Next, enter the second TO number, 14, and click the Enter icon to continue. The system displays data for the selected transfer order. Verify the quantity, 1000, and destination bin, STBN 1000, and then click the Save icon to confirm the transfer order. The system displays a message stating that the second TO was confirmed. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now review the stock in the warehouse at the storage location level. In the stock menu, select Transaction MB52, Warehouse Stock. Enter or search for the appropriate material, T-shirt, plant, San Diego, and storage location, trading goods. Then click the Execute icon to view the stock balance. The system displays the stock level for the selected materials in the selected plant. 
There is no change in the stock level in the storage location because this is not affected by warehouse management. Click the back icon twice to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will review the stock in the storage bin that contains the SHRT-1000. In the display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter or search for the warehouse number 100, storage type 001, and storage bin fields star 000. Then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays a list of storage bins that meet the search criteria. Note that only one bin has material in it. Double-click the storage bin number that contains the SHRT-1000. In the Display Storage Bin screen, we will see that there are now 2200 shirts here, the same as the amount in stock. Click the back icon twice to return to the Bin Status Report initial screen. Recall from a previous demo that the PO or STO numbers were used to label the temporary bin number in the interim storage area number. Enter one of the PO and STO numbers in the storage bin field and then remove the entry in the storage type field. Then click the execute icon to continue. The system indicates that there are no bins that meet the search criteria. This bin no longer exists in the interim storage area because the materials have been moved, put away, from the temporary bin into the permanent storage bin. Searching for the other temporary bin will generate the same result because the material in that bin has also been put away in permanent bins. Demo 9.6 WM Steps